Hello and uh, welcome to the uh, Windows 3.0 um, introduction here. This is, gonna, this is what I want to show you what you can do with Windows 3.0. So by the end of this video you'll be able to do everything that I can do here. So here we have Windows 3.0 and you'll notice by Program Manager we're running in 386 enhanced mode. Um, that requires a special file in order to work actually. And in Windows Setup we have all this set up like that and even though it says no network installed that you can still run the net use and other commands and that works perfectly fine if you go to file manager you'll notice that we have network access through here so if I go to inbox you'll notice the pictures there and then you'll notice the, um, the files are there from the last if you watch the Windows 2.03 video you'll know what those files were but and we're also I'm also going to show you how to open it for how to open one of the files like say the old MSP file from Windows uh, 3 so I'm sorry Windows 2.0 so we're gonna go on the E drive here we're gonna go to the inbox we're gonna open up that picture and it's gonna translate it to a bitmap file so now we have the picture here as you can see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do a test here just for I can show you that stuff can be written we're going to write in red hello the word hello and then I want to open up this file on my on my main on my main machine, so you can see that files transferred from Windows 3 work perfectly fine, come through perfectly fine. We save as we're going to save it under D, and that's uh, under F under Hello Bitmap. What are the options here? Monochrome, PCX 16, color bitmap let's try that and then save there hello bitmap is now saved now we're going to go here under the data directory we're going to open that up and put the mouse over top and you'll notice that you saw that the image properly works it transferred in perfectly fine over so but yeah so that is basically what I want to show you on what you will be able to do by the end of this is be able to run Windows 3.0 with uh, networking support and everything so uh, but yeah so that's it for this intro you and the and if you follow the rest of this video you'll be all set with Windows 3.0okay so now we are going to do the installation so we want to select new we want to type in our our a name for it and we're going to select windows and select 3.1 and then here we're going to want to select four megabytes of ram that should be enough for this and then we're going to create a new virtual disk keep it at that it's fine all these can be defaults then we're going to go into the settings and we're going to do a few quick alterations disable acceleration um, under audio we disable the audio under storage we want to put in our our DOS disk again so we have we can access DOS there do that networking host only network uh, serial ports, USB, disable USB, and now we're good to boot. So now we're going to press start. And we're going to boot her up. And this is the same disk as I used during the uh, Windows uh, 2.03 install. In case you're kind of curious what the setup C file bat does, this is what it does. It just formats the C drive and copies the CD ROM drivers over, configs this and auto exec bat, and then it says all done. So so let's do the same thing again we did for Windows 2. Point for the 2.03 which all it doesn't take too long it's super quick all done then we eject we can eject the DOS disk and reboot and then we can proceed with the Windows 3 install so we're gonna select our Windows 3 disk disk 1 go A and start setup 
windows. Uh, these can all remain as is. And then we put in disk number two. And then Windows finally boots up. And we don't need to set up printers, we don't need to do any of these, and press continue. And then go to disk number three. Oops. Retry. Hope I didn't do, do anything. I pressed cancel by accident for disk number three, so that was kind of weird. I don't know why there's a cancel button there, but I guess we'll find it in a second if that broke or not, because I accidentally pressed it by going too fast. Most was jumping around a little bit. So we go disk five. I believe it worked. Okay, and disk six. We don't need disk seven, just gonna go back to disk five. Disk 5 and make all modifications for me, and now we're all done. And we're gonna check the disk and do a re and do a reboot. <coughs> and after rebooting, we can type in win. And you'll see this, and everybody will end up seeing this error message saying you must have the file win a two o three eighty six, but. If you're using VirtualBox and you don't have DOS 5, you're not going to have this file. So people can you can either run it in um, real mode, which is very well possible. Here's real mode. If you go to Program Manager, you only you only have like 366 kilobytes of free memory, so real mode isn't very um, great. The other mode you can run in is standard mode, so slash s. This loads it in standard mode. You get a bit more. You get more memory. But you don't get virtual memory, you get like your four megs and that's it. Four megs for the most part is really good, but now we're gonna now I'm gonna show you how to get 386 enhanced mode working. So search online for that for the file it mentions there. I have the file already on a disk image here. So if we go DIRA, you'll see the file there, which is win which is uh, win a two zero dot three eighty six. We copy that over and now we type in win and now we're in 386 enhanced mode. So we go about program manager, 386 enhanced mode with 14 megs of memory. Bit with 13 megs of memory available to us. Okay. And now if you go to file manager, you'll notice that everything is intact and a okay. Now the only um, issue here is that we don't have networking just yet. So we're going to enable the networking stuff. Same it's basically the same way as the other Windows 2.03 method. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a temp directory, go into temp, and then we are going to act, we are going to find our uh, PC net disk, and then we're going to put in my put in the CD that has the um, the stuff we need, the MS client stuff, which is like right here. And then we just go D, DSK, 3, 1, D, DSK, 3, 2, over right, over right, over right, over right. Um, then we go setup, go enter, enter, working. Just give it a few moments for this to process here. Okay, then choose network adapter, a colon slash, windows for work groups, 3.1. You can find this driver online pretty easily. Tech 406. Then set up options. We're going to go to the basic redirector. We're going to run the network client at lo uh, during boot. All those are great. Network connections. We're going to press tab, go to the IPX. And actually, yeah, we're going to go to the IPX, press enter. We're going to change that to TCP IP. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to remove the IPX. Now it's only TCP IP, which is all we need for this. And we're going to go connections are correct. Done. Um, OEM. And then let's eject all of our disks. And then reboot. And then initialize TCP IP with DHCP. Okay, 
enter enter no now we're going to do net to use we're going to use the e with our land manager server and we're going to put in data and then we're going to go in and then go into profile manager and then you'll see it right here and then we can access our hello bitmap file that we created before in the other in the other virtual machine and that's basically it we have windows 3.0 completely set up with networking support onto the host machine so you can access uh, so you can work with those things there and um, access your files and save files back and forth um, so yeah hopefully this video is helpful in that, in that sense and hopefully and stay tuned for the next video in this series